Let's talk. 34. God wants us to offer ourselves wholeheartedly, living for him with every part of our being. Jesus, you offered yourself for my sake. Help me to offer myself to live for you. Amen. Say this short prayer after me. May I act with justice, mercy and humility as you did, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Welcome to this special platform, Iconic Baby Steps. Join me, Tony Odutola, and become a friend of God. All glory be to God. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are blessed. You are a chosen generation. Today's message is a word of encouragement and inspiration titled, Sacrifice in the Vineyard for God, Part 2. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brethren, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 57 to 58. I read that from the New International Version. So brethren, in part two of Sacrifice in the Vineyard of God, what can you and I take and hold on to from Apostle Paul's legacy? As mentioned in part one, he is often regarded as one of the most influential figures in early Christianity. I believe he offers several valuable lessons for believers who seek to sacrifice in God's vineyard. Unwavering faith and conversion. Paul's dramatic conversion on the road to Damascus illustrates the transformative power of faith. It shows that anyone, regardless of their past, can experience a profound spiritual awakening and become a devoted follower of Christ. This teaches believers the importance of openness to God's calling and the potential for radical change in our lives. His commitment to the gospel is by spreading the message of Jesus Christ is a testament to the power of conviction. Believers can learn from his dedication and understand the importance of staying true to their faith, even in the face of challenges. His cultural adaptability, Paul's ability to adapt his message to different cultural contexts and audiences is a valuable lesson for modern believers. He was able to connect with both Jews and, and Gentiles, demonstrating the importance of effective communication and cultural sensitivity in sharing the gospel. Also, his theology and doctrine, by his writings, particularly his epistles in the New Testament, provide a significant theological foundation for Christianity. Believers can learn from this, his deep theological insights and commitment to teaching sound doctrine. His letters address important topics like grace, faith, justification, and the role of the Holy Spirit. Paul's life was marked by service and sacrifice, humility and vulnerability. Despite his many accomplishments and profound spiritual experiences, Paul re remained humble and acknowledged his weaknesses. His willingness to share his struggles and vulnerabilities in his writings show believers that humility is a virtue in the Christian life. Unity and community building. Paul emphasized the importance of unity within the Christian community. His letters often addressed issues of division and discord, encouraging believers to live in harmony and love one another. 
prayer and dependence on God. Throughout his life and ministry, Paul relied on prayer and depended on God's guidance. Paul's teaching on reconciliation and forgiveness is evident in his interaction with individuals. He demonstrated the importance of extending forgiveness and offering second chances, emphasizing the need for reconciliation within Christian community. Brethren, in summary, the legacy of the Apostle Paul offers numerous valuable lessons for us as believers who seek to sacrifice in God's vineyard. His life and teachings emphasize faith, dedication, perseverance, humility, and service to others as integral aspects of meaningful Christian journey. I hope this message will have a form of encouragement and impact on our Christian life as children of God serving in his vineyard. In our next series, we will be looking at how children of God can sacrifice in the vineyard for God. If you haven't given your life to Christ, why not join me today and become a friend of God by accepting him as your personal savior while you can do so. Tomorrow might be too late. Please say this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I come to you in full repentance. I accept you as my one and only personal savior. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness of all my sins, known and unknown. I am sorry for taking you for granted. Write my name in your book of life. Father, I declare that I am nothing without you. I depend on you for everything in my life. I say bye-bye to the devil and carry the cross of righteousness. Please, Lord, give me the grace to serve you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. And let your everlasting love and peace reign in me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I congratulate you for taking a bold step of faith. For further information to pray with you, guide you and support you, you can contact us via the email address placed on the screen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for joining me today. God bless and see you next time. Bye.